Hello guys, what's up? The code Hulk is here and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to see how to serve static files in Dino. And I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One is the standard libraries, Dino standard libraries, HTTP server using that. Second will be using Oak framework. Okay, so I have two folders right here prepared, a, um, HTTP server and Oak. And let's start with the HTTP server and then I'm going to show how you can serve static files using Oak. Okay, so here is the server.ts, which which I'm going to uh, execute right now. Dino run dash dash lonet server.ts, but let's first go to this HTTP folder. Dino run dash dash lonet server.ts. It will compile and start the server. Okay, let's open the browser localhost port 8000 and here is our result okay so basically we have two urls supported if the url is slash we return with home if the url is slash about we return with about otherwise we simply uh, return with status code 404 okay so if i just write here slash about it will print about if i type something else right here okay it will show this not found um, if I just try to open index HTML, it shows with not found. Okay. And I also have public folder in this HTTP server and there is HTML file only, very simple HTML file and CSS file. And inside HTML, we have this H1 tag and inside the CSS, we just give the blue color to this um, H1 tag. Okay. Let's serve this folder. Uh, so that whenever we open the uh, index HTML in the browser or slash public uh, like this, or we're going to see both ways, basically, or public slash index HTML is going to open this uh, file h1. Okay, with the h1. Okay, let's go to the server ts and what should we do right here? So first of all, we need a um, function to be imported from the standard library. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate this line and I'm going to import from file underscore server and the function which is which I want to import is called um, serve file. Okay, this is the file. I, uh, this is the function I want to import. And then so if the URL is slash I return with home, um, I return with about and right here, if it is not slash not about, I want to uh, return the content of the file. Okay, how I do this. So I'm going to create now uh, content will be await serve uh, serve file. Okay. And the serve file accepts the request and the path which you want to read and return. Okay. This path basically will be, I'm going to create a constant for this. Const path will be from the uh, Dino current folder, Dino current working directory. We're going to uh, go to the public slash, not slash, because the URL will contain slash. I will show you exactly what I mean. And right here we will have request.url. Okay. And then I'm going to pass path right here. So whenever we open, for example, slash HTML, okay, this request URL will be just slash HTML. Okay. So this will be replaced with slash HTML and the path will be the correct path. Uh, from the public folder, which we're going to read and return. Okay, so how I'm going to do this request respond with the content. Okay, so uh, actually, I'm going to comment this not response, but respond. Okay, and here's the content. So now let's restart our server. And let's have a look in the browser. Uh, first of all, we need the read permission, okay? Because we are reading file, we need to allow dash dash. Um, we need to specify dash dash hello read. So dash dash hello read. The server is started. Let's open the browser. And uh, let's remove this public, by the way. Hit the enter. Uh, okay, it redirects uh, to the public for some reason. So let's have a look once again. So on slash. Uh, I think the server is crashed. Yes, this is one thing I also wanted to show to you. But first, let's start the server and specify the correct path. 
Okay, we just need to specify slash index.html. Hit the enter. And here we see hello from HTML. Okay, it's blue because the CSS is also imported. So here is the important thing. If I just try to access some file which doesn't exist, okay, it comes in the else statement and then it tries to serve that file, but the file doesn't exist and the server is crashed. Okay, uh, crashing server is of course not really good solution, so we need a way to just fix this. So let me show you. If I try to access app.js, this actually crashed the server. We can see, okay, not found. So let me show you how we can do this. So we can put this in the try catch, okay, in the catch, we will get an error, of course, and we're going to check if the error exists and if error is instance of Dino errors not found. OK, in this case, we're going to uh, return with 402, just like this. Otherwise, if it's not not found error, we're going to return with 500 internal server error. OK, so let's just save this and start the script and have a look in the browser open the page and right here we see this not found okay this doesn't exist if i try to open up css this returns the content as well as the html okay now let's say that i want my index html not to be directly like this index html but from the public folder like public slash index html okay this returns not found so far so right here we can just remove this public folder okay and whatever is the request url Will be concatenated to the Dino current working directory. And if we just save this and restart the server and hit the enter right here, we see this HTML. Okay, let me show you one more thing really quickly. So let's say that I have in this public folder about file. It's just text file about from file. Okay, just text file. And if I just change this back into slash public, okay and restart the server whenever i just access uh, up css it returns the content okay and i want in the same way whenever i access the about it should return the content of this about file about from file okay just like this but instead of re returning content from the about it returns uh, the following content okay because if the request url is slash about we return this and we have this in the else statement. Okay, let's see how we can actually do this. So instead of this approach, putting this in the else statement, I'm gonna do it differently now. So I'm gonna move this up right here, and I'm gonna check if the request, whatever is the request URL, if there exists a file for this request URL from the public directory, then I'm gonna serve this file. Otherwise, let it do the following thing. Okay, so I'm going to take this and declare right here. And now I'm going to check if that path exists. Okay, so if, and I'm going to call the function which doesn't exist yet, and I'm going to create it. Okay, if file exists, and I'm going to specify this path, in this case, I'm going to uh, return the content of the file, just like this. Okay, and I can actually continue right here because I'm in the for loop, infinite for loop. I can continue uh, that the following code basically won't be executed. Okay, and we can change this. Uh, and from here, actually, let's first implement the file exists. Okay, so let's create uh, async function file exists, which will accept path, which will be string. And now I'm going to check. So again, in the try catch, I'm going to do the following. Uh, const stats equals await dino l, l stat and specify the path and return if stats exist and the stats is file is true. This will return true. In the catch, I'm going to do the following thing like what I was doing before. So if the error is instance of uh, not found, then I'm going to immediately return false, which means the file doesn't exist. If it's something else, some other error, which might be the permission error, I'm going to throw the same error. OK, so I have this file exists and this one should work. And down below, I'm just going to uh, respond with 
status code again with 404. Okay, so let's just save this, restart the server, and have a look. So if I open this about, hit the enter, it returns content from the file, about from file. So home page works fine, index HTML works fine, CSS works fine, but if the framework, if the code finds a file in this public directory, it serves this file instead of the roles what we have declared right here. Okay, so if I change right now the extension of this file into txt, okay, and just just refresh the page, it returns about. Okay, I hope this makes sense. Okay, let's move on and see how we can serve static files from the oak framework. Okay, as just like I had in the HTTP server, I have prepared very basic uh, this uh, skeleton. Okay, very basic, minimalistic, and let's let's start this right now. Okay, um, let's go to this oak framework folder first and run the same thing. Hello net, hello read. The server is started. Yes, and let's refresh, and we have the same output because we are returning the same response home and about. Okay, so um, if you are not yet familiar what is Oak, definitely check out the uh, Dino third-party packages. It's right now at the moment the most popular um, framework. I also have a um, REST API tutorial, how you can build the REST API tutorial using Oak with authentication and so on. Okay, check out the uh, check out my channel. Um, okay, so right here I need to configure my Oak to serve static files. So for this, I'm going to create a middleware. Okay, static um, file middleware dot ts, and I'm going to export uh, export const uh, middleware. Or let's call it static file middleware also, which will be an asynchronous function. And this one will accept context right here, which will be an instance of context. And I'm going to import that context in a moment. And we have the next, which will be function. Okay. And the purpose of this function, this uh, middleware is uh, something similar to what we did, what we did on the HTTP server. It needs to check if the file exists uh, according to the URL, and if it exists, it will return the file. Otherwise, it will just continue. It will call the next function so that the uh, other roles start working. Okay, so let's first take the path. Path equals Dino current working directory slash public, and right here we need the actual path, which is the URL. Okay, this will be uh, context request URL path name. By the way, autocompletion doesn't work uh, at the moment because this context needs to be imported. So I'm going to copy this line and paste right here. Just I want to import context, nothing else. Okay, so in this case, if I just start typing context uh, request uh, URL, it autocompletes. Okay, path name. Okay, perfect. This is the path and I want to check if this path exists. So for this, I want to just copy and paste the same file exists function, which I created right here. Okay. In the static file middleware, paste down below. And I'm going to check if await file exists, let's specify the path. In this case, I want to send, I want to call the send function, which uh, needs to be imported from the oak framework, just like this. Okay, I'm going to specify the context. I'm going to specify the path name, context, uh, URL, excuse me, request, URL, path name, and I'm going to specify options also. Okay, and the root will be of these options, um, Dino current working directory slash public. Okay, using this, I'm basically telling the Oak framework that this file will be served from this uh, public folder from from this public folder. Okay, so in this case, if we just specify index HTML in the browser, it will work. Okay, if the file doesn't exist, in this case, we need to call 
the next function, okay, which will allow the framework to use the uh, roles configured in the server.ts. Okay, let's restart the server now and just have a look. So open the browser. So slash about, it returns about, slash home returns home, and index HTML. So this one returns not found. Why does it do this? We are serving from the Oak framework. Okay, let's have a look. Oops, here's my mistake. I haven't used this static file middleware awkward. So let's go to the server.ts and I need to use this static file middleware. Okay, so how I use this? I'm going to call app use, okay, and specify right here static file middleware and this one needs to be imported, of course. Okay, VS Code automatically imports it for me because I'm using the uh, Dino extension. This one, if you don't have it, just install it. And then let's just restart the server and have a look. So let's let's hit the enter. And here we see the CSS. If we just try to open the index HTML, here we see this blue uh, hello from HTML. Okay. And the previous URLs also works fine. Okay. Um, slash home or slash about. But again, if we just create slash about file in this public folder, okay, about from file, in this case, this returns content from the file. Okay, so the file name, if it exists in the public, overrides the path declared right here in the roles. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope I helped you. Uh, definitely hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section also what you think. If you're new to my channel, subscribe to it. You will do me a big favor. And see you in the next time.